Hey guys, in today's video, we'll continue exploring Nerd Connect and see how to periodically generate PDF reports for a group of records from the database. Let's start. As you see here, we have three records in the database for the patient's table. We'll create a new channel. Name it Job PDF Report. Save it. In the source, we will pick the connector database reader to allow this channel to get records from the database by default 5 seconds. Or we can change it, for example, to 30 seconds to allow this source to get for every 30 seconds records from the database. The data included will be controlled here in the SQL body using where clause or other conditions. Now we'll configure the database. Of course, we work with MySQL database. Let's insert the URL. We have the localhost, port 3306. And we have the database, as always, my database. In the SQL query, we will select from the table patients the fields that interest us. Let's look for the table patients. Okay, let's pick the first name, last name, date of birth. I added this column to control the data that I want to include for each job iteration. Okay, we generated the query here. Let's first prepare each field and showing them in the channel using the edit transformer. So as we notice here, we already have an XML here generated by Nerd Connect for the database reader edit transformer. And of course, if we switch to message trees, we can extract each field from the from this tree. Okay, let's create steps for the three first fields. If we go to destinations, we will see the three fields for each row from the database records. Let's name this destination report generation. Okay, let's pick the connector document writer as we did in the last video. Of course, we will check the PDF report. Same thing we did last time. We will choose where we're gonna extract our PDF report or export it. We'll use the same path, my local machine. Let's differentiate between these reports by naming each one with a unique field that identify each record. PDF report, the concatenation of the first name and the last name, then the last name. And we finish with the, the, the extension PDF. Okay, same template we will use. Okay, let's save and deploy the channel. We have new records. Okay, so the last one here in this time. And the records coming from the database in the XML format, so in the edit transformer. Let's check the PDF reports for each patient. In the reports folder, we have our three PDF reports with the first name, last name, as we concatenated for the name of the file. Okay. For John Doe, okay. And for Demo Demo. Okay. So that's it for this video. Let's explore more Merge Connect features in the next video. See you next time. <laughs>